Uh, went through a phase where I was like, I can make donuts. We don't have to go to Dunkin' Donuts. I can make donuts. I'm not gonna make donuts. We're gonna talk about recipe organization and we're gonna declutter this binder. I have this beautiful giant $2 zucchini from the farmer's market. I intend to make zucchini chocolate chip bread with it. I have a recipe that my mother-in-law gave to me before the kids were even born. That's in here. I have a blog post link below with three awesome hacks to create yourself a recipe binder that works easily. Also, uh, I'm not a digital sort of person. I have more paper than I really need to because I don't scan things digitally. I like a good organized recipe binder rather than my iPad with recipes on it. It's just my style. It's just how I like to be. Well, let me start with how it's organized, okay? I have sections for each main ingredient or category. So uh, main ingredient, uh, meat-based, chicken, sausage, beef, turkey, whatever. And then I have categories like brunch, breakfast, desserts, side dishes, Thanksgiving. That all lives in here. At the front of my binder, I keep new recipes to try. We're gonna also trim that down. That's too much. When when it doesn't, when the pocket breaks, like I've actually taped this pocket to the binder so many times. When the pocket breaks, that's because I put too much in it. Let's think of the reality of this, okay? These are the um, fantasy me recipes I'd like to try. <laughs> but I don't. Last night I cooked lemon butter pasta. The kids hated it. Not a kid in my house liked this. Therefore, this is not going to make it to the binder. My baseline for inclusion into the binder has to be at least three of the five people living in my house need to eat it for it to graduate into my binder and get included. And it didn't make the cut, so it's garbage. The recipe was great, but the paper is garbage. Okay, so kids lunch ideas. I'm gonna keep this and put it in a plastic sleeve and actually put it at the front of my binder because it's something I, I reference often. These are not recipes that I need to have. It's like mac and cheese and nuggets, uh, tortilla chips and taco meat, brunch board, breakfast board. My five-year-old's name is Jack. We call it Jackie chicken because anything that's uh, friendly for him to eat, it, it makes the cut for everybody. So instant pot with uh, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and that's Jackie chicken. He dips it in ranch. Homemade pancakes. I was buying the um, pre-mix, which is great if you need that in your life. If you need instant pancake mix, please buy it, treat yourself. Groceries right now are atrocious and this is one of the ways that I don't spend money <laughs> is buying more instant pancake mix and pancakes are a regular, at least twice a week for breakfast, sometimes breakfast for dinner. And so now I just use this recipe. I have tried four recipes for homemade pancakes. This is the only one that they liked and they all ate. Um, so this is the one I'm keeping. I'm gonna keep this, so I'm gonna add that to the binder. This is my bread recipe, which I use in many different ways. Pizza dough, bread dough, dinner rolls. Uh, it's from uh, Jill Prairie Homestead. Great bread recipe. All right, this is cracked corn salad. I wanna try this. This is where it might get a little bit hard for me. Okay, so I wanna try this, I wanna try this. Another bread recipe to try. This is for sandwich bread, because I, yeah. Okay, carrot cake. All of my kids and my dad like carrot cake, so I was gonna try to make my very first carrot cake. Creamy pesto with chicken. Two out of, two of my kids liked it. Um, so four out of five liked it, that's right, okay. So four out of five liked it, it's gonna make the cut. It's also gonna make the cut because I have a, a, like a billion leaves of basil out back that I'm growing. So it's a great way to use up the basil. Basil, 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 less healthy basil, basil, basil. Basil. <laughs> I've actually been properly pruning this one and it got huge. It's, it really exploded. I actually need to come out here and chop off like a really good bit. 
of this and make some pesto soon. Peanut butter candy fudge, I made this. It was gone in about 20 minutes. So I will keep that recipe. Tomato chicken. I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Let it go, let it go. Italian chicken pasta slow cooker. I already have a recipe for that. Okay, I don't know why I put another one. Because I sit on my couch and look through Instagram and find recipes that I might make and I never do. Uh, apple French toast roll-ups. Yes, please. Yeah, that's, that's more complicated. That's more trouble than it's worth. There's a great declutter baseline. If the recipe is more trouble than it's worth, get rid of the recipe. I'm decluttering that recipe because the work required to make apple French toast roll-ups would not be worth it for me because my children would probably take one bite and not eat any more, and that was complicated, so that's not worth it. Uh, Sam the Cooking Guy, love his YouTube. I'll link it below for you. He made it uh, what he calls American Goulash. I made it. It's delicious. It's graduating to the binder. Spicy sausage pasta. No bueno. No bueno because uh, only two of my five like spicy and I'm not one. Uh, ground turkey potato casserole. If the word casserole is in it, my husband isn't a fan. Uh, he'll eat it just because he'll eat anything and he's a good guy, but he's not super fan of casseroles. Soft pretzels. Oh yeah. I feel like this will be worth the trouble. So I'm gonna keep that as a try. No, ooh, spaghetti bolognese. This recipe came from, you know her, you love her. Jennifer at Daily Connoisseur shared her spaghetti bolognese recipe. Oh my goodness. If you like spaghetti bolognese, try her recipe. Okay, I'll try to find a link for it and include it below. That's, that's, I keep that. I always wanted to be a person who could make beef bourguignon but I'm not that person. This is probably like the 10th time that I've printed a recipe for beef bourguignon. Honey white bread. Oh, that goes with the other recipe I wanted to try. The farmhouse. All right, so I have some bread recipes I'm thinking about. All right, so we thinned it way down. Now this is my try, okay? We're good, this is great. Now I can fit it in and the tape sticks back down. Joy to the world, my binder fits. Okay, did I put these in a neat pile as I was going? No. Why would I do something magical? Okay, kids lunch favorites, and then I have a favorites list of dinners that my family likes. Okay, I have those two things in the front. So when I need to just do really fast meal planning, ahead because it's a busy week or whatever, then my first two pages in my binder get that done for me, easy peasy. I would like to add a page here. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this video, but I'd like to add a page here of kind of a, a master index of all the recipes that I like in my cookbooks. Because uh, sometimes, you know, if I sit down with all of my cookbooks, my recipe binder, and I'm really into meal planning, that's great. Except that sometimes I just want to open this up, plan like four meals and be done. And I would love a master list of all the things that I like from the cookbooks that I've decided to keep. That would go here. Next is old weekly meal plans that are just used for like inspiration. What, you know, can I copy this week? Yep, let's do it. All right, then starts each section. And my veggie is pretty good. I've actually crossed out three recipes that I've taken out historically, so I've thinned out veggie before. Chicken's getting a little stocky uh, in this binder. We're big chicken eaters though, so quick plants. Yep, I already see one. I need a pen, a pen. Pencil will do fine. We're taking out this one. Greek salad with marinated chicken. Haven't made it in a very long time. And every time I kind of flip through the, the chicken section, I'm like, no. Okay. And at the front of every one of my sections is a table of contents. This guy happens to need a sleeve because 
the holes got ripped out, but I have a table of contents at the beginning of each section. So if I want to meal plan a dinner with that includes chicken because chicken was on sale and I bought a bunch of it, then I can just shop my chicken section only. And it's all right there, one page at the beginning of the section and I can just shop for the recipe that I wanna make. So we're gonna thin out almond chicken salad because really only Andy and I eat that one. Beef is actually so long now that, oh, I carried it over. So I ran out of numbers. <laughs> Nope, and in fact, what, aren't I adding some beef? Yeah, I have two recipes to add, for heaven's sakes. Stand by, technical difficulties. I mean, everything that's here is like homemade cheeseburger mac and cheese, my mom's meatballs. Yeah, everything in here is just, we eat it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see how I can trim the beef section. Okay, shrimp scampi. I'm gonna keep this because it's my only seafood recipe. Crock pot, I had one to add, um, nine and 10. Okay, so we're not actually like getting this binder thinner. So something you could do, right, is get a bigger binder. If you're into recipe, recipe binders, you could get a bigger binder, right? And then that would solve the problem of space. That's, that's not how I go. Um, <laughs> my husband, ran out of hangers in his closet. He asked me to buy new hangers. And instead I decluttered 60% of my closet to free up some hangers for him because I'd rather have less than organize bigger, if that makes any sense. You get a bigger binder. You can choose to, uh, you know, parse things out. Another thing you could do would be to digitize any less often used recipes. So just scan them into your computer or your phone for later, just so you have less physically. That's also not my style. I do categorize my sides. I'm going to add my mom's sweet potatoes. Desserts, I have two desserts to add. A lot of the dessert stuff that's in here are family hand-me-downs. Here is what I am gonna do though. I have my Thanksgiving planner, all my Thanksgiving recipes stuffed into this one thing. I am gonna pull this out and put it in my fall bin in the basement. Oh yeah, that thinned it up a bit. Okay, I'm adding my pancake recipe in here. It's a little bit better. It would be easier to use if it were two thirds full and not like 80% full. So, I think I am going to try to make some decisions here on the beef. So when I start forcing decluttering, that's when I get myself into trouble. I end up not living with the decision well. I end up feeling like it's forced and then I make myself stop. So I have two cheeseburger mac and cheese. Okay, this guy can go. Empanadas, yep. Okay, the rest of these are good. I could go bigger binder. I think this is like a inch and a half binder, maybe. Might be a two inch binder. Um, this binder I have <laughs> reinforced with packing tape at every seam <laughs> imaginable. And all the things in here get cooked. They're tried and true. So I may have to get a bigger binder, which I'm not a fan of, but is what it is. Maybe it's time anyway, because this binder is truly definitely falling apart and it's held together with packing tape. So maybe I need to get a bigger binder because I cook more often now than I ever have in my life. And I cook from scratch more often than I ever have in my life. And my, as a result, maybe my binder of family favorite recipes also needs to change. Something for me to consider. It does lay better though. I will say that. All of that because I wanted to make some zucchini chocolate chip bread, <laughs> which I guess I'll do now. Makes two loaves. Dun, 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 dun. Do you have enough zucchini? I guess we just throw throw everything together and bake it.
When it comes to minimalism and marriage, I get this question pretty regularly. How'd you get your husband to agree to that? Or how'd you get your husband to declutter with you? Um, I, I just wait until he's ready. I just live my minimalist life. Or I ask him to participate in something like together. Like when we did the junk cabinet, I needed to claim some space in the kitchen and his stuff was there. So I asked him either to move it all somewhere else or let's go through it together. And so I'm talking about that because in order to get to the bowl that I want, I have to go past the bowls he wants. I don't like these bowls, but I keep them because my husband likes them. All right, so eggs. When a recipe calls for eggs, I always do the eggs first so that I can pick out the shells before I add all the ing other ingredients and don't dirty a second bowl just for the eggs. Also, if you don't know this hack, uh, eggshell attracts eggshell. So if you get eggshells in your bowl, you can use the eggshell to fish out. Three eggs, one cup of vegetable oil, or whatever oil you like. Cup seems like a lot. Doesn't it? Well, I didn't write any amendments. She says she actually uses more usually. Okay. Uh, one and a half cups of sugar. That also seems like a lot, but we're just gonna do it. I didn't write any notes in there to do it differently, so that's about a half. Vanilla, three teaspoons of vanilla. You can measure it if like, or you go one, two, trace, like that. Two cups of zucchini shredded and drained. I'll do that in a minute. Three cups of flour, forgot that. One teaspoon of salt. I don't really, yeah, I just eyeball it. That's about a teaspoon. Teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, and a teaspoon of baking soda. three teaspoons of cinnamon. I just use the cap of the spice thingy. That's about three. Nuts and or raisins, coconut or dates. And I wrote there one cup of chocolate chips. It's about a cup and a half. All right, that's a cup. Do I still have some left? Okie dokie, heard a jokey. Preheat oven, 350. Missing the zucchini. And my camera battery died right at that moment. So I shredded the zucchini, two cups of the zucchini and added it in, filled up to two loaf pans. And then here's how the zucchini bread came out. Thank you so much for spending time in my kitchen with me today. And here's another video.